Hello everybody and welcome back to a quick tutorial from the Road to Eden. In today's episode I will just show you the new way of getting cars. As you can see here, I, after a week, finally got the parts needed to get this Humvee. Unfortunately the Humvee is a bugged vehicle, so if it encounters anything in front of it, it will actually stop. Uh, not that great, hopefully it will be fixed soon as well as the physics regarding the cars because right now it's like they have no weight, you just steer all over the road with them. Kind of sad, especially since I love the Humvees and other games. But to see what you need now for the cars, you do as you did with the van and you just click E and you will see the parts you need. So as you can see, the parts are almost identical to the van, except that instead of a spark plug, you need an exhaust pipe, and instead of something else, I don't remember what it what it was, you need a radiator system. And among the cars, there are different tires, and the higher tire of the car, the more items it need. Well, more new items it need. And to get those items, you basically need to loot, as usual, as well as you can find specific parts in the blue car part chest that you can find on some points of interest. And then you can also find mods for the car like paint jobs and mods. So if we go to my mod cabinet, as well as car parts cabinet, you can see that you can find exhaust pipes, bumpers, front armor, this is the radiator that you need to make the improved radiator together with two fans and rubber but I find that extremely rare to find, which I'm not that happy about, but hopefully it will be improved in the future. And then you see different kinds of wheels, window armor, fuel pump, ignition coil that's needed to make the injector pump that you need for another, that you need for other cars. So all these are new items that are brought into the game. Still uh, need some tweaks here and there. And if you find a car, for example, my Humvee, where it says you need a radiator, well, an improved radiator, you make that at your metal workstation. And here you can see the radiator system. It needs two radiator fans that you can find in the blue chests, well, not chests, blue crates named car parts. You need three radiator hoses and one radiator. And the radiator radiator hose you can get in your uh, heavy press. And to make a radiator hose you need four rubber strings, three copper wires and five rubber. Rubber can be found here and there. Uh, my, my best location where I find rubber is the, well, junk that spawns around you when you walk or when you enter a new area. And if you need an ignition system you can find it in your electronic station. And for that you need two coils, well ignition coils, two ignition switches, and four plastic sheets. Now I found a few ignition coils, but I have not found any ignition ignition switcher. So once you have the items, you can make yourself an ignition system, and then to make the fuel injector, you go over to your carpenter bench and scroll all the way down. And you can see here down almost at the bottom the fuel injector system needs one fuel pump, four fuel injectors and one accumulator. So it is more grinded to get cars now than when the vans existed. Low tire cars still require like three basic items or more. I managed to find a food truck that needed the same items as the previous van. The con with that car was once again it uh, had no weight to it so it just floated all around. The engine was extremely weak so uh, I had very hard time going uphill with it. And the speed was pretty dreadful on it as well. But hopefully all these cars will be tweaked in the upcoming weeks. And uh, so we just have to hang on tight and see where it leads. If you have any questions regarding the new cars, where uh, I can also mention that in Zone 1 you can't find bigger cars, for example, like the truck. Right now it is possible for trucks and haulers to spawn in zone 1 in one of the 50 spawn points but they're not intended for it since uh, it's more for zone 2 where you can find different cars. I also don't really like because if this is supposed to be a hardcore survival game 
who wants to attract hardcore survival players, I don't really see the benefit of a monster truck that's, in my opinion, just ridiculous. But the Humvee, I love it. And now also, what you have with cars is when you enter them, most of these cars can now hold more than one player as well. But to turn it on, you actually have to press R. And if I would now leave the car, it will still be running and consume fuel. So if when you want to leave your car, you have to press R again to turn it off. And I have to admit, I'm quite... Uh, I find it quite fun that uh, he added blinkers. Let's see what keys it will for the blinkers now again. Ah, one and three. So it actually has fully functional blinkers, which <laughs> I find quite funny. Good for roleplay purposes, but if you're alone in a server, I don't really see the benefits of it. You can also turn them both on at the same time. Okay, apparently it doesn't work on the Humvee. And as you can see, I have a. Uh, uh, I don't know the name in English, but a hook, a pebble. I have that thing in the back to turn on a trailer. I thought I found one before, but apparently that must not have been an item I could use because I could not interact with it. So that is just how you get cars now with the new car update. Find a car, look what items it needs. The higher tire vehicle, the more complex components it will require. This Humvee just required the improved radiator that you made with two radiator fans, three hoses and a radiator. But sadly it took me and a friend almost a week to find the needed components. Rubber is quite hard to get, but not as hard to get as it was for us to get the radiator. As well as uh, the radiator fans. So hopefully things like that will be buffed for the future, but I just wanted to show you how to make vehicles now with the vehicle update. So until next time, stay safe, stay prepared, and stay alive out there my friends.